do my research and teach in a broad spectrum of applications of telecommunication engineering, from quantum communication to classical communications, smart industry, self-organizing networks. Nowadays, telecommunication networks are serving so many people and providing so many services that they require some level of automation and intelligence. So there is this interesting juncture in time between artificial intelligence and telecommunications which are coming together to realize the future internet. One thing we talk about is um, self-organization, which is a way to embed um, engineering techniques into networks that mimic what nature does. So think of a colony of ants or a flock of birds, and they, they try to arrange uh, the movement and the actions between themselves without necessarily anybody in charge. So we are trying to embed this kind of distributed design in future networks. I don't think I was a natural-born electronic engineer. It more came as uh, an acquired taste. I remember as a kid being always fascinated by space missions, playing with, uh, with Lego kids, and uh, eventually I ended up building things like starships and rockets, and, and in the end it became clear to me that communication and, you know, and the electronics uh, were really at the heart of it. It was impressive what those guys could do. The Apollo missions could uh, actually do what they did with the equivalent computing power of a, of a toaster, pretty much. And now we are way beyond toasters. In the end, you see, what we do is way beyond uh, the, the gadgets, it's way beyond mobile phones. We deal with the very uh, heart of information. One good example is uh, a revolution that is, is uh, coming uh, in, the, in the next few years, is the quantum internet. And again, we are at the heart of it, both in terms of the theory and uh, the engineering side of things. So it's probably not too far-fetched to think of a future where we wouldn't use the current technology at all, and we would rely on a different kind of physics altogether, like quantum mechanics. And you know, as far-fetched as it sounds, it's coming, and uh, we, are, we are actually playing with it. I think what is beautiful um, about electronic engineering is that it has a wide appeal to both theoreticians and uh, people that uh, have a more practical mindset. So I think you can really go from the blackboard math until you know the test bed uh, prototype. And I don't think many fields in science and technology can truly say that. If I were to give an advice to young engineers uh, or people that are thinking to get into engineering, especially in electronic engineering, would be not to follow uh, the, the advice necessarily of other people. I think they should go about what they like. If you have an aha moment, try to follow that. Don't worry about career and CV and, and money. And It's more important, I think, for an engineer and a scientist that they enjoy what they do, and that is, in itself is priceless.